Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. Gonna do a commentary video for Total War Rome 2 on a map located somewhere in Piscinus. So, Pergamon versus Rome. These guys were historical allies, but we're gonna fight against each other. I'm commanding Pergamon. My opponent's name is Broski Dirtman, and that name does sound familiar because I'm pretty sure I played this guy before and he smoked me. But look at his setup. Tons of rush units. What is that? 14 units of swords, and then 5 units of, uh, cav. So here's my setup. I put all my light horsemen on the extreme left. And I put my Hippias and my Noble Cav on the right, and the rest of my infantry are in the middle. But uh, here's my Pergamy Noble Cav, that's where my general's at. These guys are basically like uh, Companion Cav. Uh, slightly cheaper. And uh, yeah, this unit is exclusive for uh, Pergamon. And then I got these units of uh, Hippias Lancers. They're no different than the other Hippias Lancers, I don't think. And these are my three units of Light Horsemen, and these guys will remain hidden in the forest until uh, the climax of the battle. Then I have four units of Pick Peltist. I love these guys. And then uh, these units of Ajima Spears, two of them. Then uh, four units of these uh, Galatian Swords, and then three units of the Pikemen. Um, three of my Galatian Swords have experience and one does not. So there's a setup. My opponent's going in for... He was gonna go for a charge. He changed his mind, so I went in for a charge with my general unit. So he's gonna try to pull back. He pulls back all of his cav. See that? As he pulls back, he's going to lose a lot of horses right there as he tries to retreat. So he's already down to 38 horses. I've lost zero horses. But he finally gets away, but he's at 37 horses in that one unit. And I pull my, my cap back with no losses. So I started off pretty good. And that's my opponent set up. He has a four units of legionary calves. He's got a legatus unit. Um, he's got three units of Ebukati, um, four units of Stadi, and uh, five units of legionaries, and one unit of veteran legionaries. Sorry, that didn't really sync up with what you saw, but it was going too fast. So uh, he comes forward. I see how many uh, sword units he has, and I'm just like, oh crap. So that's towards my, my left flank over here. Waiting to uh, get a little closer to these guys. He put his Astadi in the front, so they're going to act as a meat shield, because he sees how many uh, pick pelters I have. I have four of them. So he's going to absorb my... Uh, absorb the javelins. And even if he loses his Astadi, um, he still has the rest of his Astadi and the rest of his sword units. So there's my Jim of Spears tossing crap at him. Some of his legionary cav are kind of passing through. I'm not sure if they took damage from those spears or from those javelins, but they were awfully close to it. But yeah, my opponent has, oh my gosh, like 14 units of different types of uh, legionaries. And uh, as far as uh, melee infantry goes, I only have, what, 9 units of infantry? So my 9 versus his 14, and 3 of my guys are pikemen, which means... He does not have to engage him if he doesn't want to. He can just pull away quite easily. So here's the action on the right. We're kind of looking at each other. Um, he's going to wait for me to uh, to uh, drain my, my javelins. There's my light cap on the very left. Quickly now. And that's a tactic that I use sometimes. Like, I'll just sit there and let him waste his ammo. But that's... I didn't really have much of a chance, much of a choice, really. Like, I'm happy that he let me use all my, my javelins. Understood. So I was going to go for a charge on his uh, cav on the right there, but he pulled back. But I will charge at those Hastati that are thinned out like that. See them? Here comes my my cav. You can kind of hear them making their way over there slowly. But I will advance to a charge. There you go. See, look towards the top of the screen. There you go. Bam. So this action's happening... Um, it's kind of obscured by the trees, but I did charge in, and that, that charge would have been okay, but he has all those legionaries behind. So all those, all those, uh, um, Pila that he threw at me wasted my guys. I was a 60, now I'm down to 44 men in that Pergamy Noble Cav unit, so I lost 16 horses there. But I, I didn't want to just sit there and just, and just keep looking at my opponent's, uh, multitude of legionnaires. So that's our Cav just kind of dancing around. He doesn't want me to engage. It seems like he's just waiting for me to move my guy so that he can uh, outflank me, but the fact is, he has, what, 14 sword units? I only have... 
not not as many uh, melee sword units as he does. So he could actually just charge in and just surround me quite easily. Like, there's really no need for him to wait for me to make a mistake, because he's going to outnumber me regardless. But on the right, I'm, I'm staring down at his cav, and uh, on his side, he's at reshuffling his lines over here. So really, on, on virtue of the armies alone, I was going to have a pretty hard time against this kind of army. So here's the overhead right here. You can see, uh, well on the right, that's that's my light cav. We're looking from his point of view. So he pulls his Legathus towards his right. And uh, now he's uh, throwing some uh, some peel at my guys. Those are my Jima Spears, kind of um, hiding behind their spear, their shields. So now moving up my phalanx, I knew he was going to rally, but he was kind of just sitting there, so I just wanted to make things happen. So I move these guys forward. I'm also moving my other phalanx unit on the other side. On this side, uh, his Pila took a toll on my guys. You can see their their ranks severely depleted, over 50% depleted. And he's going to come in from the other side with his uh, other Legionnaires. So pretty much in any given situation, he's going to be able to outflank me like this. All right. So he did charge the back of my, my Peltus right here. See this? That, those are his uh, legionary cab. I was not worried about this. Because my pick Peltus, as I have shown you many times, they can hold their own against a cab unit like like a legionary cab. So I wasn't worried about them. These are my Jima Spears going at his Hestati. Take that. And uh, he has a unit wavering right there. Then he's got some more units charging into my guys. So he, those units over there are charging into my Peltus. Over on the right, that's where their that's where my other Peltus are. And you see his legionary cab, they disappeared, fighting my Peltus on the left. At the so yeah, I, I did spread up my my Peltus. Two on, on the right, two on the left. I was gonna use them to uh, to keep it from outflanking me. Had to use my pick Peltus as uh, melee units. Since they're out of ammo, why not? And that's me. Those are my Galatian swords getting surrounded. Look at all those guys he has. Oh my gosh. So it's a pretty sweet setup that he has. I mean, if, if you um, want to use a rush army. I find such speed. Yeah, um, see, my, my pig pellets, I think, can fight the cav, but against the uh, his uh, legionnaire type units, I'm not going to take him out. And uh, I, I love my, my Galatian swords. They're really cheap, like cheap cost. But I think they're pretty effective because they are they do have a cheap cost. But they're getting hacked down because they're cheap. This is my Hippeus Lancers and my uh, Pergamy Noble Cav. I'm just swinging them down the right. And I'm moving some more of my, my infantry over on the right as well. Those are my pick Peltus on the bottom there. So I'm going to swing my, my general unit and my Hippeus over here. Waiting for an opportunity to charge somewhere. There's almost no target though. I mean, I could charge his Estadi again. That's a pretty good target, I think. And uh, this is my Pig Peltus. About to get swarmed here from all sides. I really like the shot, by the way, this overhead. And uh, yeah, if you look to the right, those are my, that's my general again, moving. Then he has more units on the left. And he has so many free units, like so many reserve units. So here comes my general, gonna try try to charge into that big uh, glob right there. But you, you see his other spare legionnaires on the side just tossing uh, peel at my guys. But yeah, this is, um, you can see my, my light horse in the background. I decided this is the only time I could take him out. Like, I wanted to wait for him to get all of his guys stuck with one of my guys and just charge in and cause a mass rout. But I don't think that opportunity was ever gonna happen. If I waited even longer, then my guys probably would've just died. So now I've got my Hippias and my general um, thrown into the thick of it, and then uh, I sent one of my, my horsemen after his general, try to assassinate his general, but he's gonna run away with his general, and my other two light horsemen over on the uh, on the other side, they're going to follow in the footsteps of my general and try to uh, charge into that big thick of Roman troops that are engaged already. 
But to no avail, this is when my guys really just start to break. Without my general, it, like, there's really no reason left for the rest of my guys to be still fighting this fight. But I am glad I fought this battle. Because uh, you really should be aware that these, uh, like, especially these Roman Rush units, these Roman Rush armies are pretty, uh, pretty devastating. Like, if you bring the wrong setup, then you're going to have a very hard time beating it. So they're going, oh my guys, they all, they all break. It's considered a close defeat, but if you look at the stats, that wasn't close at all. I got my, my butt kicked there. Um, but very good game to Broski Dirtman. I like the army. Um, I like Pergamon, though. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at uh, Pergamon for a second time. And it was a pleasure playing against Broski again. And I guess that's it. Leave your comments. Happy Thanksgiving.